Next crossover movie I want to see, Mr. Fantastic vs. The Human Torch. Who would win in a fight? And right there, you wit, this is probably the only time I'm ever going to mention Fantastic Four on this channel. Alright, so Bleed For This is his new boxing movie, stars Miles Teller, he's this up and coming boxer, he's got a couple titles under his belt, and then he gets in this huge car crash, he's all screwed up, he's got the ha the metal halo thing on his head, huge spinal injury, the doctor doesn't even know if he's gonna walk again, and this is about Miles Teller basically coming back from that, and so he recruits Aaron Eckhart, who's trained a bunch of boxers in the past to help him box again. And this movie's kinda funny for me, because I was really pumped for this movie like, a year ago, because I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this was filming around the same time that Creed was filming, and I don't know why this came out so late, but I remember like before Creed came out, I was seeing production photos of it, and I was like, oh yeah, Miles Teller in a boxing movie, that sounds awesome, because for one, Miles Teller, Aaron Eckhart, they're both in it, and they're both great actors, and it's a boxing movie, I'm a sucker for a good boxing movie, and I don't think I've ever seen a bad one, oh, actually, okay, I have, point is, boxing movies usually hit a sweet spot for me, so I was pretty pumped for this movie, but then I almost forgot the movie was coming out, because I saw, like, one trailer for it, and that was, like, months ago, I haven't really seen anything leading up to it, so I was just checking Fandango one day, and Bleed for This was out, and so I watched it, and what did I think of it? The movie's good. That's about all I can say about it. Starting out with the cast, though, is Miles Teller. It was so stinking good in this movie. I was afraid, especially because he has that weird mustache, I was afraid that I was just gonna see Miles Teller. But the guy, within like the first five minutes of the movie, I saw a completely different character. And one of the things that I think Rocky has an advantage of over this movie is that with Rocky, it's based off a fictional character. And so they can craft that character however they want. You know, Sylvester Stallone, he's really good at playing the everyman. And with this movie being based off a true story, you kind of gotta follow the guy's life. And so I would say that the character Miles Teller plays isn't quite as charismatic and I didn't feel for him quite as much as I did for Rocky. But that's not to say, you know, when he was in the fight scenes and he was bleeding out and he was punching the other guy, I was still getting up and I was cheering for him. I just wasn't quite as attached to him as I was to Rocky, but he's still good. And I don't know a whole lot about this boxer, but Miles Teller, he felt human. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. He's a good guy. He's got some flaws. He's way over his head with it. And I thought Miles Teller killed it in this role. And then Aaron Eckhart, similar to Miles Teller, I just, I didn't see Aaron Eckhart. I, I didn't see Two-Face. I saw this trainer. What's interesting about it, and this kind of reminded me of the fighter, the the David O. Russell movie from a few years ago, is that Miles Teller's family is really involved with the whole boxing thing, but they're also, you know, his parents, so they care about him on a more human level. They don't want to see him get hurt, they want to see him succeed, and Aaron Eckhart also wants to see him succeed, but Aaron Eckhart, being in the business for a while, he knows a little more about it, and there's a couple scenes when there's that clashing between, I guess, Siren Hands played Miles Teller's dad and Aaron Eckhart. You can tell where Aaron Eckhart's coming from. He's kind of the brains when Miles Teller is the heart. Miles Teller really wants to come back from boxing, and Aaron Eckhart's like, dude, what do you have to prove? You don't have to keep going. There's no shame in stopping. So I thought his level head worked well with Miles Teller and his passion for the sport. The performances were really solid. I think the thing that really bogged this movie down was the pacing of it. You know how I said at the beginning the plot for the movie is Miles Teller is a big famous boxer, gets in a car crash, and it's the story of him coming back from that crash? Yeah, that's what the trailer tells you. That's what Fandango's gonna tell you. But that's about the second half of the movie. Now the first half of the movie is him kind of starting out and it's him winning his first title fight. And that was cool to see and I really liked it, but it almost felt like two separate movies. And neither one, because you know there's the fight when he gets the title belt and then the fight at the end of the movie. And I felt like neither Neither fight really had quite as much emotion as I was looking for. It's only natural to compare this with other boxing movies that have come out recently, so I'm gonna compare it to Creed. By the end of Creed, when he was in the final round, I was basically in tears. I was up, like, jumping up in my seat, like, screaming whenever he got hit, cheering for him. I never got quite that invested in Bleed for this. What I think probably would have helped is maybe shorten out the beginning of the movie, make it, you know, so he's already got one title under his belt, and then do the car crash earlier in the movie, or do what they already did, have the car crash there, and then make the movie longer. It was about two hours. If they wanted to put the car crash there and wanted to show his whole rise, the movie should have been at least, I'd say, 2.15, because by the end of it, when he's in the ring, it doesn't really feel like he's gone through that much. And what I mean by that is that whole recovery phase, you know, like the emotional core of the movie, it kind of gets glossed over. However, the fights in this movie were really cool. It wasn't quite as cool as the fights in Rocky, or even the fights in movies like The Fighter or Warrior. Even though Warrior's MMA, this is boxing, but, you know, wrestling, physical, it's a sport. I can make that comparison, right? Overall, I enjoyed Bleed for this, but not as much as I wanted to. Miles Teller's really great in the movie. Aaron Eckhart's really great in the movie. It's just kind of the story and the pacing of the whole thing really bogged the movie down. And because of that, I don't think it was as impactful as what the director was going for. So it's one of those movies you can kind of take it or leave it. I mean, if it's at matinee price, go check it out, I guess. Or you just buy the whole Rocky collection for like 20 bucks at Best Buy and have it forever. So, you know, there's that. But I do want to know, what is your guys' favorite boxing movie of all time? Let me know down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you can click subscribe and check out some of my other stuff. And I'll catch you guys next time.